My name is Miss Hetty and I'm from Loka. Today our video is about the color wheel and how you can make your own color wheel using crayons. So this is a color wheel and the color wheel are 12 colors that are the most common colors that artists use. They're the colors that you'll find in a basic box of crayons. Well, the color wheel came from an important discovery from a scientist who is probably one of the most brilliant scientists in all of history. His name was Sir Isaac Newton, and this is a painting of him. Sir Isaac Newton was born in 1643, and about 300 years ago, he made some wonderful discoveries. He discovered gravity, he invented a very complicated type of mathematics called calculus, and he also discovered that white light is really composed of colored light. And that's what we see when we see a rainbow. And in fact, what he did is he took a piece of glass called a prism and he used it to divide the light. You can do a similar experiment by taking a, a CD and putting it in the light, either indoors or outside, and you can see that it divides into the colors of the spectrum. Well, artists and printers of the same time took his writings and they thought, well, how can I use that with paint to understand how to mix color? And so this is a man named Boutet in 1708, and first he made a seven color color wheel, and then he made a 12 color color wheel. And that's what artists have been using ever since. Probably you already know that there are three primary colors, yellow, blue, and red. And that if you mix your primary colors together, you get your secondary colors, your green, your violet, which is also known as purple, and your orange. Now, if you'd like to make your own color wheel, you can do this pretty simply. You'll need a pencil, a piece of paper, a set of crayons or of colored pencils, and something to use as a template. What I've used is a lid from a food jar, but you could use a small saucer or a plate. And what you're gonna do is just trace it. Now I'm doing this vertical, but you'll do it on your desk. And now you wanna put the colors where they belong. The easiest way I've found to do this is to start by drawing a clock face like you'd see in the wall of your classroom. And the color wheel doesn't really have anything to do with a clock. It's just that there's 12 steps on the clock and there's 12 steps on your color wheel. So I would start by putting 12 at the top and six at the bottom, just like you have on a watch. And then you would put three over here and nine over here. And then just fill in the spaces, one, two, there's your three, four, five, so there's your six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and 11. And then you can take your crayons. Now, if you're using the Crayola crayons, it's really easy because what they've done is they've written the name of the crayon color right here at the end. And so you have yellow, check the color name, yellow, yellow, green, green, blue-green, and now we're back to a primary color. We're going to be on blue. Check the color name. Now with your Crayolas, it gets a little tricky because they use the same color wrapping, so you have to be sure you look. And if you look here, this one says blue-violet, so I'm gonna put it here. And then I'm gonna put violet, check my color name. 
And then I'm going to put red violet. I'm checking my color name. And then I'm going to go to red. That's another primary color. Then I'm going to red orange. Then I'm going to go to orange. And then I'm going to yellow orange. And while I have those in mind, I might just write the names of the colors down here. So the first one we did was yellow. The next thing we did was yellow, green. The next one we did was green. And while I'm doing this, I'm gonna stop for a second. I'm gonna put a P, cause that's a primary color. And I'm going to put an S, cause that's a secondary color. Then I'm going to go to blue, green. Blue, do you remember what blue is? Blue is a primary color. And then I'm going to do blue violet. And then I'm going to violet and violet or purple is a secondary color. So I'll put an S. Then I'm going to red violet. Red, do you remember what red is? Red is a primary color. And then I'm going to go to red orange. Orange, remember what orange is? Orange is a secondary color, that's right. And finally, go to yellow orange. So now we have made our own color wheel and we've named the colors. Here's something that's pretty special though. I look back at my color set of 16 colors and I can see Crayola gave me every color in the color wheel, but they also gave me black. And that's because black is all the colors mixed together. So if you've ever made paint you and you've washed your brushes, you ever notice that your water gets all kind of an ugly gray? That's because it's gray is sort of like a light black. And that's because all the colors are mixing together. And white is all the colors um, with no color, so that's white. And then you're left with two colors and you go, well, why aren't these on the color wheel if they're in my set? Well, if we think about it, this is our pink and our pink is really red violet plus white. We can sort of prove that. So here's our pink and let's go back and find our red violet crayon. Here's our red violet crayon. And if I draw my red cry violet cry crayon really lightly and you add in some white, I can see that it starts to look kind of pink, like my pink crayon. It's a little hard to see because it's these are crayons, they're not really good paints. Similarly, when I have my brown, I can ask myself, where does my brown look? look? And it really sort of belongs here by the red orange. Don't put this on your color wheel, but I'm just gonna show you that if I take a, a, a red orange and mix it with the color opposite, the blue-green, and then come back and put a little bit of red-orange on top, I'm gonna get a color that's kind of like a brown because the colors are mixing together. Similarly, if I wanted to make an orange and I had lost my orange crayon, I could take my red crayon and my yellow crayon and I could mix some yellow and add some red and add some yellow and add some red and add some yellow and add some more yellow. And I'd get a color that was not yellow, not red, but it was orange. It wouldn't be as pretty as my orange, my net, my, the orange that came in my set, but it would be so, a similar color. And that's how we can use our color wheel to understand how to mix our colors. <laughs>